my shorts. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> okay, now, I, I already kind of showed you this. Um, we we did the ones with a central angle. So this central angle is just made up of two radiuses or radii. Um, it forms an angle, and whatever the angle is, that's also the arc angle, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone remember that? Mm -hmm. So arc AB is 70 degrees, and angle ACB is also 70. So what we're doing today, it's, it's uh, kind of the same thing, except instead of a central angle, we're doing inscribed. Inscribed means inside. Um, so, an inscribed is two chords that form an angle. So that just means the uh, vertex is on a side. Now, let me do a little better one and figure out what the answer is. <coughs> Didn't draw a very good circle, but anyway, this inscribed circle intercepts at AB. So if you had to guess what arc AB was, a good estimate, what's the measure of that? 180. It's about a half a circle. Now you can tell here the central angle and the arc are the same. They're obviously not the same, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's not 180. If you had to guess what it is, it's 90. Angle ACB is 90. So that's the whole thing today is... Oh, is it just half? It's half, right. So if you have an inscribed angle, if this is 70... It has to be one. Right. And then it goes backwards too. If this is 120 degrees, this one has to be 60. Okay. Um, an inscribed polygon, which we're just going to do quadrilaterals, it's just something that's drawn inside. Circumscribed means to draw the circle around it. Okay, that's no big deal. You don't need to know that. All right, uh, here, this is a little confusing. If they use different colors, you could see it better. But angle C right here and angle D, they're the same. And the reason why is they both intersect that arc, right? Can everyone kind of see that? C goes from A to B, and so does D. So then since this arc is the same, those angles would be the same. So there's a couple like this where they tell you this is 80. So each of these would be 40 degrees because an inscribed is half of the arc. So like I said, problems today, if this is 140, angle Y is 70. 70. If this is 80, 160. Okay? Isn't that easy, Sega? Yeah. Okay. All right. Easy enough for me, guy. So this is the one that the example before where it gets a little confusing, but if you notice angle Y intersects from there to there and so does angle Z, which means these are both uh, 62 and it means the arc 124. Okay. Everyone got that? Yeah, trick. Okay, so those are the three types, 88, 44, 91, 182. And if this is 38, they're looking for angle A, 38, because they both intersect that same arc. Cool. Okay. Now, um, there's some shortcuts here. <clears throat> this one is kind of common sense. If you've got an inscribed angle that intersects on a diameter, that's 180, so that's got to be 90. Okay. Um,
if you have these, a, a quadrilateral that's in there, its opposite angles are gonna be supplementary. So like if this was an 80 degree angle right there, this would have to be 100. So if it's quadrilateral, opposite angles add up to 180. So if this was 120 right there, this would be, it's not quite 120, but it would have to be 60, which it obviously isn't, but. So, on this one, this angle and this angle have to add up to 180. So in order to figure out what X is, 18X, plus 72 has to equal 180. So you subtract 72 divide by 18 and that is 6.5 repeating. Boy, that's an odd one. Just six. Hmm? Is it one zero? Is one oh eight? No. Oh, it's one oh eight. There we go. It's not one eighteen. So it is just six. And then to figure out why, these two got to add up to one eighty. So eighteen y plus one twenty six. This plus this has to equal one eighty. So you subtract one twenty six and divide by eighteen. And you get three. No. Yep. On this one, in order to find X, this is what makes these a little hard, is you forget, since this is a diameter, this is 180, right? So what does this have to be? 90. Because if this is 180, this is 90. So 15X equals 90. Divide by 15 and you get 6, yep. All right, we'll do a few of them.